Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of D Cubed. If you don't remember what that is, or if you're new to the series, it's Deez's Deep Detail. So just an overview of what we've done so far, getting up to the point that we're at today. So we did nonsense on the tires. We did Decon Pro on the wheels. We went through, we cleaned slate to wash the surface. We clayed the surface. We cut and polished the surface. And then we used Wipeout uh, in order to clean the surface from all those products. And then today we are getting into our hydrocharge and hydro slick so first is going to be the hydrocharge which kind of gets everything ready prepped and ready for the hydrophobic properties of hydro slick so this just gives it kind of a essentially a base coating of sio2 which is kind of like ceramic but not really fully ceramic and then for the even though this says ceramic coating hyper wax it is also not truly ceramic okay sio2 there is a little bit of a difference if you guys want to research it you can just know that they're not the exact same thing but sio2 infused products do offer a decent amount of protection as well as hydro hydro hydrophobic properties <laughs> i was going to try and make up a new word hydrophobic hydrophobicies that didn't work out too well did it all right, so how do we apply hydrocharge? Pretty easy. So you can either use a microfiber towel or an applicating pad. For us, we're going to be using the applicating pad to spread it on, and then we'll buff with the microfiber towel. Mainly because, here's the thing, with both of these products, whatever you use, you can't really reuse again, okay? Again, whatever applicating product you use whether it's a towel or a pad you can't reuse them after using these products or any ceramic product the reason being is when you're using a product applying these since it does have that hydrophobic property to that level it's going to inherently make your microfiber useless all right nothing's gonna nothing's gonna stick to it it loses all absorbency or the majority of its absorbency uh, properties. So just uh, keep that in mind. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this up. We're gonna spray it onto our applicating pad. And then we're just gonna apply it as such. So what you're looking for is a very even coat. So I recommend just doing a panel at a time. And this actually spreads out pretty well, so you don't need a ton. For the, for the surface, especially if you've done all these, the other steps that we have taken, this stuff goes on pretty easily. But what you're gonna do is once it's applied, you're gonna let it sit for roughly about 30 seconds, but the recommendation is to let it sit for about two minutes and then buff off. So, as you can see, like we just did roughly a quarter almost of this panel over here. Uh, parts of it are already a quarter of the way, halfway through of its drying time. So, we'll just skip over <laughs> to about a minute from now and I'll show you how to, how to buff it off. And welcome to the future. We made it, guys. We made it. All right, so this is ready to be buffed off now. Again, we're just gonna take our clean microfiber towel and we will start by wiping the product off. Super easy, super simple. And we're almost done now. Then we'll flip our towel over. Hopefully you guys can still see me. And we'll go back over where we've already wiped just to ensure that the wipe down was good. Okay. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Nothing crazy. Um, this stuff doesn't smell great. Um, sadly, it smells like <laughs> like gasoline almost. So hopefully some hopefully 
someone didn't put something strange in this bottle. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish up putting the hydrocharge on the entire car, getting it buffed off, and then I will see you right after that. Also a little pro tip before we, uh, before we finish up is when you're doing this, get some gloves on because this stuff doesn't smell that great. Uh, it's gonna make everything super, like my fingers already super oil, oily just after a little bit of the application. So make sure you put some gloves on, keep your hands protected. All right, so we just finished applying the hydro charge. I don't think that you can really see it, but there is definitely a lot more clarity and a little bit more depth now and reflectivity in the paintwork uh, from the hydro charge. So hopefully when we apply the hydro slick, it gets even that more clear and that more reflective. Um, so for this stuff, it's pretty much the same type of application. What you're gonna do is you're gonna apply it via uh, applicator pad but instead of a spray, this is a gel. So you're gonna be doing about four to five drops total uh, along the side. And if I can get this thing to come out, why won't it come out? Huh, bear with me. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, well that's strange. <laughs> so somehow the, uh, the, the metal like or the like the foil lid is stuck in there, so we got to figure out how to get that out. I've got a little little screwdriver set here, so we'll just hopefully just there we go. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Oh, well, I'll eventually get it out. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, that was that was weird. Sorry about that. Anyways. Um, so again, same thing with like the, the hydro charge. We need a pair of gloves. Again, like this is stuff that you probably don't wanna just have on your hands and like, I don't know what happens if it if your hand stays slick or like feel strange if it gets on there and stays on there for a little while. But this is the way to do it. So let's get to the hydro slick. Hydro, 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 slick, slick, slick. Well, this is really slick. All right, so again, four to five drops. I'm not even really having to do very much. Okay, so there's five. And so from here, we're gonna be applying, I don't really like it like that, so we're gonna massage this in here. Otherwise, I feel like it's just gonna spill everywhere. It's that slick on, on this pad. So again, we'll start up at the top. And we'll just put this on. So you don't get as much coverage as you did with the hydro charge. So you are gonna, it's gonna be a little bit more time consuming, which is fine. This is fine. But the good thing is, is that it's the same cure time. Uh, about 30 seconds is the minimum. And then recommendation is one to two minutes to let sit and then buff off with a microfiber towel. Wow, that looks super good right down here. Ooh. Let me show you. Let's see what we can get. See if you guys can see what I'm seeing. Ooh, hello. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let's get ready to buff this stuff off so this whole pillar right here is looking really really good that that's sharp if you put the reflectivity of that on a freaking knife cut through anything all right so let's go ahead and we'll buff this off oh wow oh my gosh oh wow that's smooth that's real smooth. I, I'm not even moving my hand anymore. It's just doing this by itself. Mm, gotcha. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, this is, this is the smoothest of smooth waxes. So, and I keep going back to this from this D-cube uh, process. 
At first I was like, yeah, the clay, it's super smooth. But then we got to polishing, super smooth. Then we got, or we got to cutting, super smooth. Then we polished, even smoother. And now, I don't even know what this is. It's beyond smooth. That's what we're going with. It's beyond smooth. If it gets any smoother than this, I don't know what to say. We're, I, no words. Beyond smooth plus, beyond smooth extra. I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, so that's uh, that's how simple it is to apply the Hydro Slick. Super easy. The hydrophobic effects will continue to improve after 12 hours of application. So that's just something to think about. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna finish up the rest of this car and then we will recap and talk about what it's like once we're done hydro slicking the entire vehicle. All right, so we're all done applying the hydro slick now. Uh, it was pretty time consuming. This thing, again, I don't think you guys can see it from the lighting, um, but this thing is, <laughs> what did we call it before? <laughs> Super smooth, extra slick. I don't remember what the heck I, <laughs> I called it. Beyond smooth, that's what it was. Anyways, um, but the entire vehicle is like that now, which is insane. Like I never would have thought that this car being five years old now um, would be able to get back to like basically like a factory feel. Um, so that's that's awesome. Um, so I didn't think that the that the hydro charge had a scent or that sorry the hydro slick had a scent to it but as i was going through it it had like a slight similar smell of the hydro charge so it was kind of i don't know gassy i guess is the best way to, to describe it, it smell like gasoline but it's very very faint with this one and it had like a hint of vinegar to it so it was kind of weird to say the least um but it wasn't overpowering by any means. If it had been, I probably would have thrown up because I hate the smell of vinegar. Um, but yeah, there's that cool little tidbit of information about me that you probably didn't know. Now you do. If you want to know anything else, strange or unusual, ask me in the comments below and I'll answer them. But anyways, so this wraps up this week's detailing tips and tricks for D-Cubed. So again, for today, we went over with a hydrocharge with a microfiber applicator pad and then buffed it off with a microfiber towel. And the same thing with this, we did four to five dabs or dots, whatever you want to call it, on an applicator pad, spread it on the surface, let it sit for a little bit, a little bit and then wiped it away. That's it for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Also, don't forget to throw away your microfiber anything that you used with both these products do not wash them with your other microfiber stuff if you do all of it will get ruined and not just the ones that have these products on them what you can do you can still utilize them for like home spill towels and stuff like that but don't put it back in your car detailing towel section if you have one of those i do is that strange other than that, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.